Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a live video event on Facebook. So if you wanna create a Facebook live event, which basically provides the people who follow you on Facebook an event page where they can go to and say whether or not they're coming or may come, uh, and it puts a link to where the live video will be. All right, so here we are. Make sure you're logged into the Facebook page in which you want to create the event for. And then once you've done that, go to that page now. So here I am on my page, and you're gonna see something here, you know, where you normally create your post, right here where it says what's on your mind. You're gonna see something here that says live video. Now there's multiple ways of getting to this next page, but the easiest way is right here where it says live video. Just click on live video. It says, welcome to the new live producer experience, and then just hit get started or X out. It really doesn't matter. Now, you're gonna see two different options. The first option says go live, okay? This is going to be where you go live instantaneously or you go live automatically right within these next 24 hours. If you want to go live right now, you would select this option here. But we are creating a live video event that will be scheduled for the future, 24 hours and beyond. So we would select this option here that says create live video event, and then you can see below if you have scheduled any broadcast, they will be down here in scheduled broadcast. So select the option here that says create live video event. Once we've selected that option, we will now be able to put all of the details, go ahead and click okay, we'll now be able to put all of the details for our event right here, all right? So on the left-hand side, we're gonna see where we insert all of the details, and then on the right, it's going to show you exactly what that looks like on a desktop and on mobile. If we click the little phone icon, it'll show you exactly what that's going to look like on mobile as well. So on the left-hand side here, I'll zoom in, and uh, what you'll wanna do is fill in your details here. So give the event a name. All right, and once you've named your event, go ahead and select a start date and time. And when doing this, you just click on the start date here, and then you can go and a calendar drop down is presented to you. And let's say you wanna do this on the 1st of September or whatever date you want, you would select that date, it'll go ahead and add that date, and then you go ahead and click into start time, and it'll actually go ahead and give you a drop down menu where you can go ahead and have and add a start time to that specific event, all right? And then we can even have an end date and time. If you want to end this at say uh, the same day, but at say an hour later, then you would go in here and give it an end time if that's something you want. This is always good to let your viewers and audience know how long the live event is going to be so they can allocate that amount of time to hang out with you. That's the whole point of creating an uh, event in the beginning. And if you see here, this little area is grayed out. It says privacy public. Any live event is going to be public Okay, so make sure that you understand that when you put that anyone on or off Facebook can view that event. Next, you're going to want to add a description to this event, so tell folks what to expect when they come and attend this event. All right, and then here you see I've added my description, and you can even enable paid access. Now, in order to have this available to you, you need to go and have some other settings adjusted on your Facebook page. I don't have that available to me on this specific page, but if you do and you want this to be like a webinar that people pay to get in, you would just click here, enter you know, $10, whatever that price is, and you are good to go. Now, once you've done this and you've inserted all of the information over on the left-hand side, at the very top over here, you're going to see something that says cover photo. Now, I have a generic cover photo It'll automatically drag in whatever your page banner is currently, but if you want to go ahead and add a specific image or cover photo to this, you can just go ahead and click the uh, trash can icon here, and then you can just upload a cover photo by going to upload cover photo, finding that image on your computer and selecting that, and that's going to be your cover photo. So as you can see, I found just a simple image here, and I've added that by just finding it on my computer. And if I wanted to, I could even go over here and drag on the left-hand side to reposition it so it looks a little better over on the desktop and mobile preview. Now, make sure everything looks like you want it to look. You can see the details down here. It lasts an hour, public for anyone on Facebook, the name, uh, the, the date, and the time. And I'll have a little button here for them to join you live whenever you're good to go. Now, once you're done with this information, you click the blue next button in the left-hand sidebar there, and you're gonna see a few different options. You're gonna see event settings, settings and distribution. So what you wanna do now is go to event settings and then event options, and you can see here that you can show the guest list. If you have co-host, you can add them here. 
uh, has to, you know, post must be approved by a host. There will be uh, the ability for folks to post underneath this event and let you know whether or not they're going or comment on it and show excitement, whatever that may be. But once you've added this here, just go ahead and click save. Next is going to be settings. So under settings here, we're going to see stream viewer comments and live tab. Now, if we click on stream here, you'll see stream settings. Now, this is all going to be how you stream this. So whether you're using your phone to stream or OBS, I have several tutorials showing you how to set up a live stream. This is just to show you how to do the live event and how to schedule that. But if you want to know how to do a stream, uh, I can show that to you and you can see my videos down below. But you can see here you'll have a stream key that you'll provide to like OBS if that's what you're using to stream. Uh, and then that's kind of where you set up all the back end stuff for streaming. As far as a viewer, you can allow the viewers to rewind. You have comments here. You can allow uh, you know, all of your comment settings here. All of these are kind of preferential to what you want for that specific event. And then you'll have live tab. This is going to be to basically show live tab on page. And anyone who visits your page will be able to see your live videos in the live tab. This is kind of like a recording of this stream or event. Once it's done, it'll appear as an actual video on that page. And then distribution uh, is going to be where you can kind of cross post it or have audience settings here. All of that, again, is kind of preference for you on that event. But if you go back to event preview, you can see here it looks really nice, looks really good on mobile. And when you're ready to create that event, you click the blue button here that says create event. It'll make sure it loads all of your settings. It may take a few minutes or seconds to create. But once it does, you will then see this event successfully created for a date and a time. And then you had a couple, a couple of options. You can set up the live video now, or you can return home. So if you go to set up live video, it'll take you back to where I was showing you as far as kind of what you want to use to stream. So this is your back end of kind of streaming on Facebook, right? So the first thing you have to do is complete the post details, which we've already done. Next, we'll select the video source up here, and this is where you begin to set up your stream for that live event. Streaming software would be like OBS, um, Streamlabs, um, Stream Template, any other site that you're using, you can do that here, or you have a webcam that you can use for like your phone or a generic webcam, and then camera controls, select a media source. This is where you would select your webcam here. This is where you would select your microphone. All of these things are gonna be back end stuff for your streaming situation. If you'd like for me to do an in-depth video on this in the future, I can definitely do that. But once you're done with the back end here and you have everything that you want um, and, and you have a webcam available to you, you just click save, changes down here at the bottom, and you're good to go. Now when your event starts, you would just go here and go to go live now, and boom, you're live. You're ready to go. If you have any questions about how to do any of this, please put those in the comment section below. Really appreciate you guys watching this tutorial. Don't forget to share and subscribe if it helps you out. And I will see you guys in the next video.